we're looking at question C. Now, now here's the third dot point here, and it involves calculating the original amount after a percentage discount or increase. Okay, and this is a challenging process. So we'll sort of explain this as we go along. Now, 2018 had 5% more fines than the previous year. All right, so let's try and write down some notes to illustrate this. So 2018, which actually had, we know to be 1,069 fines. We worked it out before by adding these three up. Now that is 5% more than the fines ha that happened in 2017, right? So then in 2017, we don't know how many fines there were. But we do know that it's less than 1,069. All right? Now, I'm going to do it wrong first on purpose in green. And I'm going to do it, do it the exact way that most people do it that is wrong. What they do is they go, oh, all right. So let's calculate 5% off 1,069. Let's go 5, divide 100, times 1,069, and see what we get. Now, 5 divided by 100 times 1,069 is 53.45. And then they're like, oh, okay, so if 2017 is 5% less than 2018, then we just take that off. We just go 1,069 minus 53.45 and we get um, 1015.55 and they put that as their solution and it looks fine I mean it's less than 1069 in fact it's 5% less than it so how come it's wrong now the reason it's wrong becomes evident when you try and go in the other direction for instance, what happens if I take 5% um, of this new number we have, 1015.55, right? What am I going to get when I do that? Well, I'm just going to go, all right, well, step one tells me, well, the first dot point tells me to divide 100 and times the amount, right? It's going to go off screen, but anyway. 5 divided 100 times 1015.55 and it gives me 50.7775. So if I take my 1015.55 people in 2017 and add the 50.7775, surely I should go back to 1,069, right? Plus 1015.55. But when I add it together, I get 1,066.3275, right? Which is wrong, because it should add up back up to 1,069. So we can't use the first dot point. And the reason we can't do it is because Essentially what we tried to do in green is we tried to find 5% less than 1,069. But the question says that 2018 is 5% more than 2017. So to calculate the 5%, we need to calculate 5% of a number that we don't know. So how do we do that? Well, I think one of the best ways for solving these is to use the four boxes technique that I've demonstrated earlier, right, with our two arrows. Now, actually, we won't draw our arrows yet because the arrows can change direction sometimes. So let's let's do this. Um, all right. Let's take our amount of 1,069. Now, 1,069 falls in the year um, 2018. Now, we learned that 
this is 5% more than what happened in 2017. So I'm going to say that this is 105%. 2017, which is this one, in fact we should label it, this is the 2017 column, and this is the 2018 column. So 2018 had 1,069 accidents, sorry, speeding tickets. 2017, we don't know how many speeding tickets we had. But we do know that 2018 is 5% more than 2017. So we're going to make 2017 100% and 2018 we're going to make 105 to show that it's 5%. It's very important that since 2017 is technically the year in which it started that it must start at 100%. Okay now we're going to talk about our arrows. They can go in any direction to be honest. They can go to the right, they can go down. I think we'll go down We've got to figure out, we're actually going to divide here by something. Oh no, no, not divide. What am I thinking? We're going to times. Not thinking straight. We're going to times by some number here. Remembering we times by the same number for each. So 105 multiplied by something equals 1069. Now to work out what that is, you just divide them. You go 1069, divide 105, and see what you get. And it's a really long number. It's quite important to keep all the numbers if, if you can help it. Um, let's just put an arrow because it's a really long number. 10.1809.5238. Okay, so it's a really long decimal. Now, that's good because that tells me what I should multiply over here. Let's see what happens. Times 100, and that comes out to 1018.09 something. You know, that's good enough. Let's leave it as a whole number, nearest whole number. All right, it's a lot of working out. Now remember, we didn't need any of this green working out. Um, let's double check it right at the top by taking 5% off 1018. All right? So 5 divide 100 times 1018 is about 50.9. Um, so about 51, approximately 51. And then if you take 1018 speeding tickets and add on 51, you will get 1,069.